Anteta, Awo, Ambeta, Ankatake, Ankanata. Aonichi, Audanse. Welcome to another episode of Basic Bambra, a project from Ankata, my initiative to create media and resources for speaking and learning. Mondang. Are you new here? Think about subscribing. In this video, we're going to cover the so called optative tense, also known as the subjunctive, using the predicate markers ka and kana. This is going to let you say things like let's go, you ought to go, and she mustn't go. Specifically, we're going to cover the following things. First, what I mean by optative tense. Then, we're going to look at how to use it to say things equivalent to let's or let's not. Then we will look at how to use it affirmatively to say things equivalent to ought to or should. Then we'll look at how to use it negatively to say things equivalent to mustn't. And finally, we'll look at how optative tense figures into benedictions. Think I go a little bit fast in this video. There's a link down in the description below that can give you access to a text, audio flashcards, and exercises that go along with this and every video in the Basic Bombra series. Are you more of a beginner? Think about checking out my full beginner Bambra online course. There's also a link down in the description below. Otherwise, Ankata! In episodes 16 and 19 of this series, we covered how to use verbs in the present and the past by using different predicate markers. That is, the special helper words like be, te, ye, ma that allow you to change the tense of a verb. In this episode, we're going to pick up a new set of predicate markers, ka and kana. Together, they form what I'm going to call the optative tense. You might hear other linguists refer to this as things like the subjunctive, the hortative, or the projective. But I'm just going to refer to it as the optative because optative includes a message in it that's helpful for lay people, the idea of opting for something. One of the reasons that it has a bunch of fancy names is because it doesn't line up with a convenient one-to-one -one translation into English or French. It does, on the other hand, always express the idea of encouraging, or when used negatively, discouraging a particular action. One of the key usages of the optative is to express what would be the equivalent of let's in English. As you might have figured out from the name of my website or of this YouTube channel, you can form this by using the third person plural pronoun un, meaning we, and the affirmative predicate marker for the optative ka. And then you follow it with a verbal expression. For instance, to take the best example possible, ankata, meaning let's go, or more literally, we, optative marker, go. Ankata. Or, if we take an example with a direct object, anka balontang, meaning let's kick the ball, as in let's play soccer, or more literally, we, optative marker, ball, kick. Anka balontang. Both of these sentences can be made negative simply by switching ka to its negative counterpart, kana. For instance, ankanata, meaning let's not go, or more literally, we, negative optative marker, go. Ankanata, or ankana balontang, meaning let's not kick the ball, or let's not play soccer, or more literally, we, optative negative marker, ball, kick. Ankana balontang, What's special about the optative in Bambra compared to let's in English is that it's not limited to only being used with the equivalent to the pronoun we, ang. We can also use ka and kana with other people or subjects. The exact translation into English will vary, but as I said before, in the affirmative, it will always have something to do with the idea of encouraging a particular action. One possible translation is should. For instance, imagine that you are struggling with a big sack of rice that you had bought at the market. As you're walking back, you might be looking for someone younger than you and then see someone and say, ikan deme, meaning you should help me, or more literally, 
you, optative marker, me, help. Ikan demi. In other cases, the meaning can be a bit closer to had better. For instance, imagine that you and your friend Musa weren't really getting along and you thought that he was avoiding you. You might say something like, Musa kan wele, meaning, Musa had better call me, or more literally, Musa, optative marker, me, call. Musa kan wele. Another possibility is ought to. For instance, Imagine that you and your family were discussing a friend who lived in a place that was increasingly ravaged by the effects of climate change. Sorry. You might say something like, Akanayang, meaning, she ought to come here, or more literally, she, optative affirmative marker, come here. Akanayang. Optative sentences can all be made negative by simply switching ka to kana. Finding a single one-to-one -one translation into English can still be a little bit tricky though. One possibility is mustn't. For instance, Musa kana wele, meaning Musa mustn't call me, or more colloquially, Musa had better not or should not call me, or more literally, Musa Negative optative marker, me call. Musa kanan wele. Of course, mustn't can sound a little bit old fashioned in English today. For this reason, when using kana with the second person pronouns i, meaning you, and au, meaning you all, the best colloquial translation is just sometimes a simple imperative or order. For instance, i kanan deme, meaning you mustn't help me, or more colloquially, don't help me. Ikanan deme. Informally translating things like this is fine, as long as you remember that there is a formal difference between using kana in a negative optative sentence and using kana in a negative imperative sentence. Compare, for instance, the following sentences. Ikanan deme, meaning you mustn't help me, and Kanan deme, meaning don't help me. Finally, if you haven't made the connection, it's worth pointing out that we actually covered the optative indirectly in episode four of this series when we went through benedictions. The ka in ala ka, or ka all by itself when using benedictions, are all instances of the optative being put to use albeit with a special meaning that's slightly different in English. May God do blah, blah, blah. Feeling a little bit overwhelmed by all this stuff about the optative? Here's a good benediction to cap things off. Alakan demi, meaning may God help us. Aywa, any questions? Post them down in the comments below. Otherwise, do you want to help me keep making videos? Think about liking this one, or if you really want to help me, Become a patron. There's a link down in the description below. Otherwise, Aoniche, Aokambe.